the day is finally here. But I have to choose between my two loves. Well, two of my loves. I play four characters, but these, these are two of my very favorites. We're finally getting a Ganondorf versus me brawler crew battle. And boy, have I campaigned for this for quite a while. I've campaigned for it so hard that I forgot to put the overlay up. Hold on one second. I think the last one we did was versus the Robins. And that was the character free crew battle. There we go. There's our good old normal Ganondorf brawler overlay. Hold on, how many? I think we have five people, so it's 15 on 15. There we go. Looking good, Ganon. Hello, Lonk. Hello, Jersh. Uh, so it looks like... Our first Ganon is Zinc. Zinc Mars, that's him. And we are, we must be deciding on the first brawler. I guess I could go if I, if I, if we want to. Fine. Everyone's pointing at me. I guess I have to go. You're correct. This is not environmental noises. Sorry for the radio silence, just figuring things out. Uh, audios sound good. Hard to tell because we're not in a match yet, but... Uh, yes, Lonk and I both signed up for both sides because we play both characters. Uh, I am a... I'm, I'm a player on the Brawler side and a sub on the Ganon side. Lonk is a player on the Ganon side and a sub on the Brawler side. If we wanted to, we could both call out and swap sides. We could do that. Oh, uh... I like this matchup on both sides. This is a fun matchup. It's nice when you have two characters who just, like, go at each other. And it's not necessarily optimal for Ganon to go at anybody, but he doesn't have a whole lot of choice. He's got big old punchy limbs and not much else. Got two characters with big hits, lots of cheese, and no recovery. It's Ganon's nose like that long. That's that's his normal Ganon. That's what he always looks like. I I, I don't like being the first one up because the the, the picks and bands are confusing. If Ganon's nose had a hurt box like Mewtwo's tail or like uh, DK's tie, he'd be ultra bottom tier. He'd get his very own tier if he doesn't already have one. It's kind of debatable. Uh, so how did this go? We had more overall matchmaking participations from the brawler side. But uh, a lot more sign-ups on the Ganon side. We didn't actually get a ton of brawlers signing up for the crew battle.
we had a lot of Ganon sign up who uh, were not really playing like friendly matches with the brawlers. Some of which are very good Ganons, but come on. Delay doesn't make this work. Anyone ever tell you that you sound like, Hi folks, Mar Markiplier here. You know what, there are worse YouTubers to sound like. I, I would rather be compared to Markiplier than, uh, I don't know, PewDiePie. Jacksepticeye here to play Smash. Man, I need to I need to like put the Discord chat on screen for these. Just so there's something happening. The, the arena is going to close it in activity before Zinc picks his stages. Okay. Bans. I ban uh, Northern Cave, because I don't like Kalos and Northern Cave. I don't like their dumb little over-the-ledge platforms. Uh, Zinc is banning PS2 and Battlefield. So, uh... Alright. Let's go FD. I like FD. I'm weird that way. Even though, especially with my brawler, like uh, I use uh, Flashing Mock Punch, I do benefit from being higher up and having platforms, but uh, I, I just don't like platforms in this game. Hollow Bastion. I believe Hollow Bastion is a counter pick. Nope, it's just not on the stage list. That's a shame. For some dumb reason, Lilat is, though. You can blame Elf for that. Elf King chose, without anyone's input, to include Lilat, but not Hollow Bastion. Also, Yoshi's is still here, which is going to be awful for, uh... Going to be awful for the brawlers using Thrupper. Although, surprisingly, that is a minority in today's crew battle. Great Bay. All right. Uh, Word Bay, he doesn't like the Final Destination visually, so we're doing Omega. Where, where is Great Bay? Ah! I've never pi I haven't picked this stage in so long! There it is. All right. Ready? Here we go. First match of the crew battle. Myself, Zelrog versus Zinc Mars, the Ganon. And brawler sets have been posted before the crew battle, so everyone knows what brawlers they're going against. Or what move sets anyway. I'm a very cheesy brawler. I accept this about myself. I also have very poor reaction times. Kind of surprised he didn't go for the, the dare spike there. Okay. I could have gotten a, a sack. Okay, still alive. He's 
not high enough to kill, but that'll get him off me a little bit. That's still not enough! I know the kill percentages, I'm just kind of throwing out moves. And I shouldn't be! Ah, oh, That's on me. Again, no reaction times. That's alright, get out of here. It's not alright. I'm gonna lose with bad reaction times, but I'm old. I need my cheese. That's why I play both of these characters. Honestly, I... People tend to think shot put is the, is the superior neutral B, and I get it. It, it, it is. Especially with the Ganon, in the Ganon matchup, I want to say. It is very impressive on Ganon. I'm just- Oh no! I missed the- Okay. I was not killed for that. This is a very flaily match. This is not an extremely technical showcase. This is both of us going for stray hits. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled. I'm also, yes, I am, I have a very bad habit of just narrowing to suplex and just pray. That was supposed to be a dash attack. Boy, if I can, if I can just get him with another FMP, I think I, I he's at kill percent now. I'm wary of getting suicided. Ugh. Yes! Okay. It's a still up, Bill. I wonder if he's listening. Yeah, that's it for me. I wanted to cheese. I wanted to lure him off stage. I wanted to last stock sack him. All right, could have gone better, but I took two off. So that is two off of the Ganons and three off of the Me Brawlers. Yeah, 134, ignore that. Nair detilt, nair up tilt, nair detilt. Yeah. See, the thing is, I can't react to landing nair in time. Like, I, I need. I can't react to whether they shield nair or not. Because if they shield nair, it's still pretty safe. You can go in nair on shield and then roll away, and m a lot of times, Brawler can't be punished for it. But my, my reaction time is so bad, I just kind of need to commit to whatever I'm following there with, is the problem. D-tilt shield anyways. Oh, but then what? You just keep detilting into infinity? So Jersh is our next me brawler. And Jersh is a funny boy. I believe he's our only burning dropkick user. And he does pretty well with it. It's not a super popular me move. It's the side special. That is usually dedicated to suplex. A few people like uh, burning dropkick for the extra. It's one more recovery option. And it does the same thing as Suplex, it covers rolls, but, uh... It can kill at, I don't know, 200%? It's short, faster than Suplex. Oh, I, I think I made a mad Jersh left. No, his game crashed. Whoops! Oh, 
Oh, they already just they already decided on their stages. All right, sounds like they are going to Smashville. Butt man, you like him? I call him Muscle Butt. I recently I don't have my names for my me's. I recently renamed them because I'm too dumb to know numbers. I gotta use codes to remember what moves these these stupid things have. I, with all the love, I love me's. But man, I I can't remember numbers. I usually use muscle butt, and I use a, a fake Mario. I use Morio with uh, thrust uppercut and shot put. And I had the idea earlier today. I get what I gotta do. I gotta make a pig me. And I'm gonna call him Rog the Hog. Let me get that out of the way. So how are you all today? We have some downtime between matches. Uh, it sounds like one of our brawlers did not respond to check-in, so we are going to have to... Are we going to have to sub in Lonk? Is Lonk going to be on both sides? Hope you feel better, jacket and jeans. Next match, me brawler, Jersh versus Ganon, Zinc Mars. Zinc will start by removing two stocks. And traditionally both players will talk to begin the match. Alright. Just throwing out burning dropkick in neutral. Goes for a pursuit with it and a faint jump stomp. Hasn't connected yet. Jersh is a very technical player who knows his combos. Combos like up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, up air, up air. Brawler got that Mario game. Ooh, that was okay. Immediate. The D throw thrupper on a platform. Immediately spells the end for Zinc Mars. And that evens up the score. Yeah, Lonk is going to be playing on both sides because we were short on brawlers and one brawler did not show up. All right, Lonk, get in here. I hope I don't have to play the Ganon Lonk. He's really good, says Lonk. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not ready for another brawler yet. I was watching on YouTube. Uh, you're, it, sh it shows uh, YouTube and Twitch in the chat, which by I should probably turn off, I just realized. Those are probably getting in the way of the footage a little bit. Most of the time when I stream, I have the chat on screen, but uh, I turn it off for crew battles because it makes the uh, makes the footage look a little nicer. 
people are watching on YouTube or such. Alright, Jersh picks his bands. Kalos, FD, Town and City. Downloaded the Kingdom Hearts Rhythm game. You need to have that on Switch even to get in order to get the uh, in order to get the uh, Smash content. Content, the one song you get for it. Sounds like we're getting Klaus the Ganon. Still in the process of picking stages. Hello, Joseph. Uh, I got my butt kicked a little bit. I took two stocks. Uh, Jersh finished up, took my sloppy seconds. So now we are tied up, and we're on our second Ganon and our second Brawler. not a Gerudo Valley in this game, is there? Like, just Gerudo Valley. There is. Oh, do we want the original or the remix? Oh my god, it's it's Guts. It's THE Guts. He's gonna whip out his big sword and Doria Jersh into the blast zone. Ready? All right. Next match, Klaus the Ganon versus Jersh the Me Brawler. Both at three stocks to start. Jersh lands a stray nair. And that's the only damage so far. Ganondorf likes his opponent to approach him. And Brawler likes to approach. Which makes this uh, a very, fairly dynamic matchup. I probably should have played a little bit lamer. Then again, maybe I didn't have the lead. Jersh, with a couple of onstage fares, sends Klaus to the ledge. Klaus returns with some whiz kicks in neutral. Jersh hangs out on a platform a bit. Lots of footsies. Straight hit from Ganon. Jersh interrupts the up smash with a flashing mock punch for the first kill. And immediate okay. Jersh eats an up smash. This is pretty close so far. The main reason I like Soaring Axe for this nat this matchup is that uh, Ganon's neutral is walling with Nair, and uh, the disjoint of Soaring Axe Kick does beat that. Up smash on a platform, not enough to finish yet. Jersh at a pretty high percent, still landing a few stray hits. There's the Nair Wall and a Dark Dive. Takes another stock off Jersh. Klaus at a clean 27%. Jersh attempts a read with F Smash, does not connect. Brawler's F Smash, ridiculously strong. Probably would have killed at that point of the stage.
It's like it's like Ganon Smash 4 F Smash, but but faster. I love it. NES confirms into it. I hope we see some brawler jab locks today. Hmm? D throw thrupper. Takes another stock. Jersh is at a pretty severe disadvantage at 120% now. Klaus, no slouch. I think he wanted to go for that jab lock. Klaus did not let him have it. Mm. Guards the dare. D throw thrupper. And that's all it takes. D throw thrupper on a platform. Wipes out Klaus's final stock. It is a menace on Ganondorf. I believe Elf King labbed it, and it works up to 118%. It's just a huge window on him. Alright, so what is that? That is two off the Brawlers. He got two stocks, right? And three off the Ganons. Yeah, Elf labbed it. Elf is the first person in the world to lab Thrupper. No one else did it before. A hero. I don't, th I don't think he labbed it, but he was posting the graph around. Why the Ganon in graph have such huge nodes? Be well, that's just Ganon. That's just what he looks like. Don't be rude. Toon Ganon would have been dope to have in Smash. That's the thing about the Ganondorf discussion. Ganondorf has appeared in three games, not counting Hyrule Warriors, which I love what he did, not what they did with him in Hyrule Warriors, but three like, mainline Zelda games have had Ganondorf in them. And he's been wildly different in each appearance. I know there are mods of Dorf that people love, that people would like, you know, more canon accurate movesets for him. Maybe not even, no, I'm, not, I'm not even going to say canon accurate, there's different movesets for him. Because again, his fights are so radically different in all three games. And Bra Brawl did introduce the Twilight Princess design. With his old man run. I, I kind of miss old man Dorf. I like the way he feels in Ultimate. He's definitely faster than he was in 4. But I, I miss his, his silly pooped his pants run. That was great. And I miss Bowser being a car. Vroom vroom. Alright. Jersh bans the same stages. Kalos, Final Destination, Town and City. Lonk, playing for the Ganons. Picks Smashville. Lonk, the Ganon, versus Jersh, the Me Brawler. Three, two, one, go! 
Jersh will start with one stock. Jersh? Buddy? There he goes. This was a long con. He's, he's gonna win by less than a, a 25 second margin. That was very planned. Watch him run out the timer against Ganondorf. Alright, some early stray hits from Jersh. Mmm. Long's still in it. It's not, not high enough for a dethrow thrupper to kill yet. I think he's high enough for it to connect at this point. Long playing very carefully, trying to wall out Jersh and his nares. That is the nice thing about the... Oh! An accidental up tilt leads to an F smash in neutral. And that wipes out the first stock off of Lonk. The nice thing about this matchup is that uh, Ganon's nair does outrange Brawler's nair. Which is something not a ton of characters have. Mm. Ooh. Burning dropkick and Thrupper does not get Jersh back to stage. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't really neutral. He was he was in an animation, so you're right. It was a whiff punish. And boy, what a sad whiff. That's uh, one stock off of both sides. Elf, you should have co-commentated with me. We need to hear your beautiful voice. We need someone who knows Ganon on the screen on the stream, because I don't know Ganon, I'm a brawler. Hello, Adent. Alright, Lonk is still in for the Ganons. We need to find another brawler to send in who is not Lonk. Sounds like we're getting Woko next as our next brawler. The brawlers are now obligated to defeat Lonk in order to prevent a paradox from happening. Hello, Citrus. Were you here for the Brawler Puff crew battle? We did we did that a while ago. That's one of the few that has a, I did a highlights video. I think I made highlights videos for two of our Brawler crew battles, and I kind of stopped making them because... It just wasn't... It's not the kind of video... The hi highlights I usually make. I usually make funny highlights where four goofy idiots kill each other in Spelunky. Not like hype plays in Smash. That's not my kind of video. Lonk picking his stage bands. Don't play Brawler and Ganon is pretty bad. But you do have a Ganon. Rule one of Ganon is that everybody has a Ganon. This is universal. Even people who say they don't have a Ganon just don't know that they have a Ganon. Lonk bands, Yoshi's, Small Battlefield, and Northern Cave. Woko, taking us to Battlefield. Ready? 
All right. Next match. Lonk playing for the Ganons versus Wokonex, the Me Brawler. And Lonk is down one stock. Get out of here. Woko warming up the Aura Aura. Woko is one of our Soaring Axe Kick players, uses the same set that I do. I considered Shot Put for this matchup particularly. I was just too used to flashing Mock Punch. I need my kill option. In stark contrast to my overwhelming stinky cheesiness, Wokonex is a very technical, very safe player who knows how to combo into an F-Smash. Or I guess read into an F-Smash, that wasn't true. Immediately taking a stock off of Lonk. Can he get another one? Hmm? Lonk eats a Soaring Axe Kick, but it hits from the back. Does not send him off stage. Woko walling with Bear at ledge, as brawlers do. Bears and Nairs. Hmm? Nair, again and Nair preempts the Soaring Axe Kick. D-Tilt does not quite kill Woko next. Both of them are at a scary percent. If Woko can get the uh, flashing mock punch at this point, but it goes the wrong way. He wants it. He wants it bad. I would want it too. Faint jump kick. Catches Lonk by surprise. Whisk kick in neutral. Come on. Up smash or flashing mock punch. Ooh, fair from Ganon. Takes a stock off of Woko next. Throw in a Randy F-Tilt, a Sparta Kick. How come Ganon gets a good Sparta Kick? Brawler's Sparta Kick is his worst neutral special. Bear from Long, attempted up smash on platform, does not connect. Wolko going for a Nair Gimp. Avoids the up smash. If he could get a grab. If he could get anything. Oh, a back air. Still not enough. Ganon will make it back unless he is intercepted. That I think that was an opportunity for a... Uh, you can tech check Ganon into a soaring axe kick. He didn't need to. A bear on a platform takes, Lonk, takes Lonk's final stock. That is one off the Brawlers, and two more off the Ganons. Brawlers now have a full player lead. Uh, sorry, not a two stock lead. Can't FMP offstage cover Ganon's recovery. Depending on where you position it, Ganon's Dark Dive hitbox is deceptively big. And it's very easy to uh, hit from underneath. I've seen it, uh... I've seen it beat the Soaring Axe Kick from beneath. Alright, well, Lonk is out, which means he can now... I was gonna say he can now play for the Brawlers, but no, we need to move out Woko first. Spacing go crazy. Yeah, Wokonex is 
either a current or former platinum belt, which is the me brawlers with offline results. We've got a few of them. I believe Jersh has some as well. And our possibly final brawler, Superberry, is a brawler cord favorite. Lots of praise for Superberry's brawler skills. Number one in Oklahoma, I see. Yeah, Lonk might, Lonk might be the final brawler. That Ganon who just lost, he's going to be our anchor. He's going to win it for us. It may not come to that. It's possible the brawlers could win by uh, more than three three stocks. It's also possible they could get they could get a comeback. Ganon Cord could still pull this back. Two stocks is not everything. Ugh. Woko bans Town and City, Northern Cave, and Yoshi's Story. And so Tom is taking him to Kalos. Generally considered Brawler's worst, worst stage. Maybe Woko doesn't mind it. Tom, the Ganon, versus Wokonex, the Brawler. Uh, wait, the brawler, Woko, you gotta, you gotta remove a stock, buddy. Woko's too, too raring to go. All right, for reals this time. All right, y'all are good. Woko with an early suplex. It's a free 23%. It's a nasty command grab that does everything but kill. But, and recover. It's not a recovery move. Don't try to recover with it. Ooh! Woko recovers from the weird hitbox shenanigans. Makes it back to stage. Winning the damage so far. Kalos and Northern Cave. Obviously, do the platform placements make uh, the soaring axe kick cheese difficult? Which is why I don't like them. But Woko relies on no such cheese. Up smash, 118, not enough to kill. He goes for another one. Can he get a, fl a flashing mock punch? Ooh, another up smash! And there's a stalk off of Tom. F tilt. That would have been the end if not for faint jump. Tom whips out a D smash and eats a soaring axe kick for it. Me Brawler has a faster sword move than Ganon and his sword. Tom intercepts a faint jump with a nair, taking a stock off of Wokonex. Parry into D-Tilt, into up air. Just trade and hits. This is a very aggressive fight. Dash, dash attack on shield. Ooh, there's a fair. He goes for the Dark Dive Edge Guard. And that's it. Another stock off of Tom. We are one to one. Woko at an 85% disadvantage. And the Dark Dive take finishes it. All right, so that is two stocks off of both parties. The Brawlers maintain a two stock lead. Score is now six to four. Oh, four. Oh, 
Oh, Caesar is here. Our no-show sure brawler has shown up. So we may not get two longs after all. Brawler should have this. We didn't really get a final summation of opinions in regards to uh, how, the, how the matchup ends up. Some people still think it's even. Some people think minus one. I, I didn't see really any, like, minus two. No one... No, most people don't think it's too, too bad. It also varies heavily on uh, the moveset, however. Well, I don't know how heavily, really. Brawler has uh, tools to... Uh... Brawler has a very strong combo game, period. And Ganon, like most super heavies, is combo food. I think Soaring Axe Kick and Shot Put both ruin his day, just because Soaring Axe Kick is... Yeah, and a stock lead, yeah. If Ganon has to approach, that is... It's good for the brawler. Brawler is A tier in Japan, I think. As according to who? This is still not a game with, uh, like, super official tier lists or anything, but, uh, I think Brawler's pretty widely understood to be a strong character at this point. Some, uh, some pros have been bringing attention to him recently. Although, we still had some Ganons try to sign up who did not join Brawler Corps, did not fight any Brawlers, participate in the matchup, and one of them was in chat just talking about me brawler being a trash character free for ganon which i'm sure he's i'm sure he's a good ganon he he has results but still it's almost like good players can have dumb opinions crazy No, 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 no. You never... You never have XXX1 with Brawler. I don't know how jokey that was. I don't know how much uh, Brawler knowledge is here, but... Uh, i talk about a move sets a little bit in the downtime. Faint Jump is completely mandatory for Brawler to have any recovery. It really turns him into like a, like a little Mac tier, even with burning drop kick. It helps, but it's so linear. It's easy to intercept. It it just doesn't make up for the faint jump. Is controllable in the air, the trajectory, so it makes for a lot of uh, mix up options with your recovery. He still doesn't get a ton of distance with it relative to some characters in the cast. But the mix up potential is what makes him. Uh, what makes his recovery so valuable. Movesets matter the most for Brawler of the three Mies. Like, Bra Brawler has the biggest gap between his good moves and his bad moves, compared to Swordfighter or Gunner. But even so, you can... You, you can you can get a ways with just fundamentals. Like, people play Doc in this game. Brawler with no recovery is kind of similar to Doc. Similar to Doc. He hits hard, he's got a pretty solid combo game. Just, you know... If he goes off stage, he dies.
I think these sword movesets also matter a lot. Brawler with no recovery is at least fast. That's true. I want... It really is a, is a question of, like... Me Brawler without faint jump is in a similar tier to uh, Little Mac and Doc. Th those, are some of the, those are some of the bottom recoveries. Incineroar is down there, but... Even if he didn't rely on faint jump for recovery so heavily, his other options for the down special are... They, they come with a lot of problems. Head on assault is just is just worthless. I could go on and on about the many many issues with that move. It it fi it was buffed. It finally like kills at a somewhat kind of sort of reasonable percent. You just can't like confirm into it. It's always it's always something that the opponent can get out of. Unless you're like pile driving them into the blast zone, they're not getting out of that, but soaring axe kick does that. So counter throw is pretty widely known. A very, very strong counter. Has a high multiplier. Sends flying. It, if it connects, it very often kills. The problem is that the hitbox is very tiny, especially on the grounded version. It doesn't cover his legs, and it does nothing on projectiles. And people have wanted counter throw to be, but people have wanted to find matchups that they could use something other than faint jump. Brawler Cord was very optimistic about the Banjo Cord JMU, and it just, it didn't happen. It was still, faint jump was just still just too necessary. All right, next battle. Caesar, the Brawler, versus Tom, the Ganon. Tom is down... Huh? Caesar, what you doing, buddy? Huh? Is this the wrong stage? That wasn't a throw, was it? Oh, it was Battlefield form Kalos. Shows how much attention I pay. Ready? All right, for real this time. Three, two, one, Major Tom the Ganon go. versus Caesar the Brawler. Tom begins by removing two of his stocks. And start. Caesar was a little bit late to the JMU. I, th I think he missed the announcement, so he has not had a ton of chance during the week to fight these Ganons. I don't know much about him as a player, what his previous Ganon experience is like. Or even what his moveset is. I probably probably should have looked at that. Oh, he was holding his own. He got tip manned, and that takes out Caesar's first stock. Could this be a chance at a Ganon comeback? We have not seen a we haven't seen a shot put yet today. There we go. There's one. Shot put, not typically a tool you want to use in neutral. Same with Soaring Axe Kick. I think you get away with both a little bit more online against Ganon. Because he's 
too slow to punish a long distance shot put. And Soaring Axe Kick works so well against his neutral game plan of the Nair Wall. All right, throw out a Thrupper. Catches Tom and cleans out the stock. That is one off of each side. Ganons are now down to their final player. Brawlers with five stocks remaining. The D smash whipping was criminal. I didn't get the chance to react to that uh, that shot put that just flew over Ganon's head because what was he charging up smash? He low profiled a grounded shot put. Flame Choke D Smash is frame perfect on tech in this matchup. So, what you're saying is that it's possible. Is that any tech or only neutral tech? Landing from side B, was that it? Well, you know what? That's Caesar's fault for using grounded shot put. <laughs> At point blank range, no less. Intent. All right. That, okay, that's Ray Calm. Our final Ganon is the man, the myth, the legend. Raymond Clam. I intend for Raycom to win this. Okay, well, if Elf says it's going to be so, then it's going to be so. I'm a neutral party. I support both sides, but... Part of me hopes that uh, Caesar goes through his stocks just so we can see Superberry play, because I'm really curious about this godly brawler we haven't seen on stream before. I don't think Superberry was in any of the previous brawler crew battles that I streamed. Caesar picking his stage bands. Superberry, one of the best. I think he's new. Oh, well, possibly. I have been uh, I've been out of touch for this with the Smash chords for a little while. Speaking of, when is the last time that we did a we did a we did a crew battle? Let me look up on my channel. Me Brawlers versus Sephiroth. No, it was the Robin one. Duh. That was two months ago. Although that was a character free crew battle. Ready? And then I think before that was Sephiroth, which was a year ago. So I, I was off for quite a while before I was called in for Robin. Ray Calm, the Ganon, versus Caesar, the Me Brawler. Caesar down one stock. And begin. I haven't seen Ray during friendlies. I'm curious how much experience he has at the in the brawler matchup. Up tilts and up airs for days. Brawler is a character who preys on matchup and experience. Caesar with a rapid jab. Shot put right on ledge. D throw into up air. Not ready for a thrupper just yet. Caesar going for reads. He's not doing that Woko bear wall.
Ray throwing out some dash attacks, some smash attacks. Mm, get that shot put off stage. Up smash doesn't quite kill Ganon. Yep. Ooh. No, he's not dead yet. Now, nah, okay. Well, that was probably unnecessary, but it was cool. Solid dare, my friend. Caesar, a few percents away from pulling ahead in this match. Just needs like a, a suplex and a half to do it. Ooh, bear doesn't quite kill. Caesar still in it. I don't know if Ray was expecting him to make it back from that. Caesar hoping to start that rapid jab. He like he's putting that out there a lot. Just nair to the face. Never a bad time to nair. Ray wants to kill badly. Whiz kick, still not enough. Caesar actually did the uh, faint jump kick to get some extra distance. Up smash, not enough. Thrupper, Raycom air dodges. And a fair from behind Ganon's head takes out a sock off Caesar. Can he place the shot puts well enough? Nope, Ray is back to stage. Up smash, still not enough. Caesar trying desperately to close the close the stock. Ray trying desperately to close the distance. Caesar keeping his distance, probably wise. Ooh. Ray is just surviving everything. This man will not go down. throw? D throw? No, up throw? I don't know Brawler's throws. Fair kills get Raycom. We're now even on stocks. Ray goes for the uh, D smash on tech in after flame choke. That, that was a wacky sequence of hits from Caesar. Caesar is back to stage. At a percent deficient, deficient. Can he make it up? He could still win this. Ray Calm could go down. Caesar lands a dash attack. A few. One up air. Elf King says we lose. Come on, Elf. And an up smash takes off Caesar's final stock. Raycom has a very, very steep hill to climb. We do get to see Superberry play for uh, one Ganon stock. Our score is now three to one. I'm not sure Calm studied this matchup. No, I, I got that vibe as well. It, I really didn't seem like he had a lot of matchup experience with Brawler. Which, you know, Caesar also came late to the JMU. Didn't really participate in the discussion throughout the week, but uh, 
it's more common for someone to have matchup experience against Ganon because Ganons are everywhere. Well, I don't know if I'd say good Ganons, but... Is he still the most popular character on uh, online? I remember hearing that a while back, that he was the most played on uh, on Quick Play. And I have no source for that. My source is that I made it up. But uh, interesting if true. Yes, Ganon. worst win rate. That sounds like it would line up with whoever is the most played regardless of who it is. Alright. Our final match. Ray Calm, the Ganon, with one stock versus Superberry, the Brawler, with all three stocks. Rocking a lovely bow and a suit today. Go on, Ray. You know what you must do. Alright, begin. Ooh, Superberry is another burning dropkick user. Going for that sack cheese immediately. Boy, what a way that would have been to end it. Just five seconds in. Oh, I kind of would have loved that. Burning Dropkick, when B reverse, does close distance quite quickly. I'm not sure if it's on the grounded version as well, but at least the aerial version gets an increase in distance when you B reverse it. Pretty significant one. Throwing out B uh, Burning Dropkick a lot in neutral, Super Berry. And a back air doesn't quite finish her. That does. An up smash will do it. Raycom takes one stock. Now it's 60%. Mm. Superberry goes for an F smash. Goes into Ganon's F smash. And, okay. Sack aside. That's all it took. And since Ganon dies first, me brawlers technically retain two stocks. Isn't that, a, isn't that a good word, technically? I smelled that, says Malin. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love stinky brawler cheese. It's the best cheese. Y'all just don't have any taste. It's great. <laughs> and Ray, Ray wants a rematch. Well, the crew battle's over. Final score is 0-2. They can have their rematch if they want. I don't mind. Three, two, Exhibition match. One, go. I'm still laughing at that. Our first win in a year and a half, and that's how we got it. Superberry plays a lot like me, which is reassuring for my, uh, my soaring axe kick nonsense. We would have won if I played, says Elf. You know what? That's possibly true. Ray is a great Ganon, but a great Ganon with actual brawler matchup experience could have won this for them. Smash. Ray takes the first stock. That is one nice thing about Burning Drop Kick, I guess, is that you have one more potential kill move. Which is usually the reason to swap out Soaring Axe Kick or uh, Shot Put. For some 
Extra kill power. Ray takes cheesy stock. That's all right. We all do it. What? Well, maybe you guys don't. I do it. I love cheesy stocks. Is he going to go for another one? Ooh, burning drop kicks. I wonder how good that, that is at beating out Ganon's Nair. It is a little disjointed. It's not too disjointed. Ray with a flame choke into Whiz Kick. And a shot put off stage. Ganon has little he can do to respond to that. He can attack it, but if he's so far out that he can't afford an aerial. Again, IMO. Shock, shot put ruins Ganon's day. Super Barry's still in it. Ooh. Goes all the way across the stage with a faint jump kick. See, I would see those shields and I would go for suplexes because I, I don't care that he's at a kill percent. I see shield, I attack. Super Barry with the D-Smash takes a full three stocks off of Ray Calm. That was close though, that was a good match. I offered to fight Super Barry. I don't know if they're interested in fighting little old me. Lonk is back. Hello, Lonk. Uh, you want you want to play for the Ganons? You didn't get to. No, he didn't get to play for the Brawlers. He did play for the Ganons. Are we just doing an arena now? I guess we could play until Super Berry's defeated. Can Lonk do it? Lonk gets a very early kill. He's the best sack user in the world. That's impossible. I'm the best sack user in the world. No, this is a joke. Woko also claims to be the best sack user in the world. He's sack. He's sack. I, you're sack. I'm sack. The nice thing about uh, the the nice while we're talking about sack. The nice thing about situations like that one at ledge just then is that you can alter the trajectory of Soaring Axe Kick once you have already started it. So you can use the first hit and then base your follow-up on whether it connected or not. That I have time to react to. That's quite a longer time than Nair on Shield. So you can decide after whether the first hit connects or not, whether you want to go off stage for the suicide. It's great. <laughs> this is probably the cheesiest brawler crew battle that we've ever had. That I, I am privy to. It's definitely the cheesiest that I've ever streamed. And this is definitely the last match. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end the stream after this one. And a shot put off stage. You place him right. Ganon goes down. Oh, oh, Ganon. Alright, well, there's our brawler victory stream.
screen. And stream. Brawler won the stream. And my phone is going off. Which seems like a good call for me to uh, stop. So I'm going to do so. Sorry, Ray. You had two chances. Nope. 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 We're over. We're done. We're ending it. No more fights. Ganon cord confirmed washed. All Ganon cords suck. I'm sorry, Maolin. You know what? You play in the next one. We needed you and we needed Elf King. Except I, I can't even say we. I can say we for the Brawler Cord side because I'm in both. I can wh Whoever wins, I win. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you for the next Brawler Cord group battle. Maybe the next Ganon Cord one. Adios.